And tonight, Seminole County leaders say people who have tested positive for COVID-19 are leaving their homes, some even going inside stores. Seriously, and officials are now cracking down with an executive order. News 6's Troy Campbell is live in Seminole County for us tonight with the details on this. Troy? Yeah, as you can see, not too much traffic here along 436 in Seminole County because of the statewide stay at home order. But officials here in Seminole County, they're taking action. They want to make sure anyone who has tested positive for COVID-19 does not head out here on these streets when they're supposed to be at home. This is extremely scary and this is extremely serious and we will not tolerate it in Seminole County. Seminole County's Office of Emergency Management Chief Administrator Alan Harris saying of the 168 positive COVID-19 patients as of Friday evening, five of them have left their homes for reasons not allowed by current health guidelines. The county issuing an executive order requiring people with a positive coronavirus diagnosis to remain inside unless seeking medical treatment. The order stating the patient can only be cleared to leave quarantine by a doctor or the Florida Department of Health. The county says five COVID-19 patients left their homes for non-medical related reasons. Our intelligence unit at the EOC calls these individuals every day. And unfortunately, sometimes they don't pick up. And when they return the call, they said, they have said, I've been running errands. I've been out in the field. Uh, I've went to the grocery store. Seminole County also releasing a heat map showing the areas with the most COVID-19 cases, including Oviedo, Lake Mary, and Altamont Springs. And Seminole County says anyone who violates this order could face a $500 fine. As far as church services through this weekend, Governor DeSantis, he sent a letter to area counties letting them know that their county ordinances still stand. So here in Seminole, religious services are still allowed. However, you should not be in a group of more than 10 people and you should still practice social distancing. Live in Seminole County tonight, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6. Troy, thank you.